Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully you don't mind the background noise of daddy playing the little one. Um, but I am editing this video and realised I didn't do an intro. Um, <clears throat> I don't even think I did an outro. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going shopping today, we're going to Uniqlo, I go to Liberty and then we go for lunch. And of course, taking little one along with us as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. See you at the end. trousers this model's wearing or mannequin <laughs> they look really nice I found them in a lovely green and a navy so we'll try those on they also have them in a blue stripe which is really nice as well and then I think these shirts maybe go with but these aren't linen these are cotton and they've got more shirts all here I've popped in to see the Uniqlo U collection but these trousers really took my interest as soon as I entered so I'm in the Regent Street store and um, the lady just told me that the Uniqlo U collection is mainly online, they're in store now. Um, but I've just seen these, they're 3D knit seamless kind of like jumpers. This red colour is really nice, really lovely knit line, um, neckline and it looks really like thin and airy and lightweight. So I may try one of these on. Red is kind of a colour of the season at the moment isn't it? Um, it just looks really lovely, I love that green with the stripe as well loads of colours of it, like neutrals and then they've got all different blues, these are really lovely. There's also this relaxed jersey jacket which I really like the style and shape of but I don't like that it's jersey material, I wish it was like a stiffer cotton or linen because um, it's really nice but just for me it's too kind of tracksuity, makes me think of that with that jersey feeling. So part of the Uniqlo U collection this year for this season they've got these um, utility jackets which basically are a bit like a barber jacket um, all different colours kind of like neutral colours as well um, again just always loving the green I'm always drawn to the green really nice navy and a brown this colour is really nice too um, and then they're kind of checked inside I think they look quite boxy and oversized and I don't know if these are men's or unisex um, the sleeves just look like they would be too long for me even rolled up but a really nice style Nice alternative to a barber jacket actually. How much are they? It's in pounds, 69 pounds, which is a really good price. It's like a third of the price of a barber jacket. These 3D knit jumpers are 34 pounds 90. There's all the prices. So I'm just having a look at this again, guys. I think they are unisex. Um, I really like the colour of this one. I think it's really nice. I'm 5'3 and it kind of would be at my thigh, it looks like. Um, I've got a little one behind here in the carrier, but yeah. But yeah, I feel like these are really nice, really nice. It feels so lightweight and really lovely for spring. This is a medium, it's quite boxy. Don't mind her, she's lost a sock. <laughs> um, but yeah, hard to tell with her in the carrier, but the sleeves aren't actually too bad. The green, oh my god, it's just so gorgeous. It's just so lovely. I think this green, it's like a very true olive green actually. Um, and then that beige colour are my favourites. This colour is called, does it have the colour? Olive, oh my gosh. This one is literally called Olive as well. I could not resist this jacket being the colour Olive. It's just drawing me in. I'm going to try it in a small without little one on and see how that is. I'm going to try these bits on now. I'll show you if they're any good. I just wanted to jump in guys and say that with the Uniqlo trousers that I'm about to try on, um, bear in mind that I am 5'3 and I have quite a short leg. I think from the inside it's 28 inches. Um, I think that's right. Um, so I do often have to get trousers tailored. It's very rare that I don't have to. But the great thing with Uniqlo is if the trousers, I think, I think it's a £20 limit. So if they're £20 or over, they do free alterations. So the trousers were £19.90 and they did the free alteration for me. I think it takes like 24 hours, but you have three months to pick it up if you can't go the next day. Um, which is such a great service and they do that with most of their trousers. So this green colour I wasn't a huge fan of, um, I don't know, I just wasn't blown away by them, but when I tried on the navy I really liked them. I was a bit unsure at first, 
But then when I started actually putting the outfit together with this red jumper, I realised that I absolutely loved them and I have gotten them altered. I haven't collected them yet. We're going to collect them in the week. Um, but I'm just so excited about them. I think they're gorgeous and £19.90 is such a good price. Love. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. Yes. I really wasn't that blown away with the Uniqlo U collection this year. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few years ago, Alan and I, I think it was in 2020, just before lockdown, if my memory serves me correctly, or was it 2021 and it was after lockdown? Sometime around then. Um, but hopefully I don't get punished for, for mentioning lockdown by YouTube. But sometime around then, Alan and I went and did like a big try on with loads of the Uniqlo U collection. I think it was one of the first collections that came out. Again, that's if my memory serves me correctly because my memory is appalling these days. But we went and tried on loads of the Uniqlo U collection and that's probably one of my favourite vlogs. I'll link it in the description box in case you want to go back and watch it, in case you want to re-watch it or you haven't seen it yet. Do you know what actually, it's so fun when me and Alan were trying on those clothes. I'm going to put that footage like that clip now in this video so you can watch it if you haven't seen it or re-watch it because it was just really fun and um, if you want to watch like the whole video I think I also went to Kew Gardens that day and um, it will be linked in the description box. I don't know what time these are. Yeah the lunch is good. Yeah I'm gonna get this. Yeah. Oops. Really? just so fun Alan and I in a big change room and trying loads of stuff on and I remember being so blown away by this Uniqlo U collection I think we ended up both of us getting a few pieces because we loved it so much and ever since then I've been like a committed dedicated Uniqlo U fan and so every time the new season comes out with Uniqlo U I get so excited um, and I wanted this video actually to be trying on the Uniqlo U collection but I was just really unimpressed um, the selection they had in the store was quite small, but it really didn't blow me away what they had. And I have since looked online through the whole collection and just found it quite samey and boring. And just there was nothing special about it um, that I found. But let me know what you think um, of this current Uniqlo U collection. I feel like they just used to be so much better. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this outfit. The green with the red with the navy with my pink shoes. I love it. I think the trousers I just need to shorten um, but I know they do that as a service at Uniqlo so I'm going to ask them if they can shorten them for me. Um, these are large um, but they're so comfy. Oh my god they're so comfy. You need to try these trousers on. They are like wearing pyjama bottoms and I really like how bold the red is with the green and then my soft pink shoes. Like I would 
I would wear this right now. I'm really happy with it. Here's the details of the trousers in case you want to find them yourself. They're so affordable as well. They're £19. Look, so it's 69 navy and then women linen blended easy pants. They're so comfy. So I'm just trying the jacket on with my actual outfit of the day and I think it goes and it looks good so I think this is going to be a really nice spring jacket. I really did like the lighter colour but the green just, you know me in green. And it's actually, the shade is actually called olive, so really special and I love the inside of it too. So the plan now is we're just on Carnaby Street, I'm going to pop into Liberty and have a browse there, whilst the little one has her nap. And then I'm thinking bow for lunch, I may change my mind, but bow is always a good idea. And the little one will be waking up at lunchtime and then she can have her lunch. Um, so have a nice little lunch date and then probably I'll head home after lunch or I might pick up something sweet to take home. We'll see. I haven't really been here in a while or looked at what new shops are on Carnaby Street but they've got a Rixo here now. Um, so if you like their clothes, they're there. They're also, I think they also have Rixo in Liberty which is just in front of us at the end. But yeah, this is Carnaby Street. It's really weird seeing it without the Christmas decorations up. It almost looks naked. I've come around to the main entrance because I love seeing what flowers they've got on display in the um, florist at the front of Liberty. They're just so beautiful. Look at this. It's a massive heart with roses. That's so gorgeous. And other flowers. Are they roses? Or are there some roses? What are the other flowers, guys? They're so pretty. I don't even know if these are real. Oh no, they're fake, but it's a beautiful display. These flowers are all real. Look at those. So happy and fun. I'm really glad I came out today. I nearly didn't come, but definitely helps the mood. These are so pretty. It smells so lovely, so fresh and floral and spring-like. I'm just in the Liberty perfume room and these bottles are so beautiful. Look how classic they all are. The different brands. Um, or I think they're different brands, yeah. And they're just such classic, beautiful, old style perfume bottles. How amazing would these look on like a vanity? I know you're not meant to keep perfume out, but they're just so gorgeous. Really classic, beautiful bottles. Look at these, these are like proper old school cologne style bottles, really lovely. I've come across such a gorgeous mirror, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys what I'm wearing today, even though you can only see half of it. I've got my black H&M trousers from like three years ago, like when did I get them, 2021? These have seen me through two pregnancies, two postpartum periods, they're just so comfy, they're really great shape. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, they're kind of baggier. Um, and then I've got pink Novestas on, which I got from Vinted, some baby blue socks, and then this jumper is H&M as well, I think. You can't really see it, it's grey. And then I've got a cream ribbed long sleeve, also from H&M, very H&M heavy. And then my Cos overcoat, which I got in 2019. And the knitter one <laughs> has lost both of her socks. Thankfully, I have one of them in my pocket. The other one I'm hoping is in the buggy. Um, but she's got a Zara jumper on and H&M leggings. And she's all cosy and sound asleep. Bless her. I'm looking forward to our little lunch date in a bit. This carrier, honestly, lifesaver for on-the-go nap times. She will sleep in her buggy, but I would have to keep the texture of the floor the same the whole time to keep her asleep. Whereas like this, like you can see I'm even talking and she's just sound asleep. She just loves it. So I do have a friend referral link for the Artipop carriers, um, where you get like $50 or £44 or €50, Euros, I think it is, something like that off. So if you're thinking to get an Artipop, pop me a message on Instagram and I'll send you the link because any discount on these things helps and they are so good. Our lunch date is a go-go and little one has a pouch today. These are just super easy when we're out. Piccolo, free range chicken and spring fridge casserole. So good, never disappoints this place. Always 10 out of 10 delicious. This is the HB front. I think you can only get it at the Soho Bow. It's absolutely incredible. If you come here, this is a dish you must order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I thought I had more footage than I did have. 
Um, I may, I'm going to see how I go, but I may just kind of go quiet for a couple weeks now, just as we approach Olive's second birthday. Um, I can just feel my grief ramping up and I'm just, yeah, probably going to hibernate for a little bit during this time. Um, but I'll probably still be posting on Instagram. Um, so if you want to follow along there and then already, it's just Eva in the city, same as May's name. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are all staying well and looking after yourselves and I'll see you very soon.